Welcome back. It is game two. We, this is round four for 100 Thieves Academy Wild Card Gaming Red. One team to move on in the upper bracket, the other to fall to the lower bracket and have to fight for their lives in the best of fives. And Wild Card Red are one game away from securing that spot against Team Liquid Academy. Like that. That's it. Also a fantastic skin. Beautiful skin. Boom's gonna go in. The W start. Oh, he doesn't even flash just yet. Ignite is ticking onto Bradley. He's holding on that no. entire time. One oh. more flash finally oh. to barely survive. Bradley, how you doing? I, you know, I don't actually, that that flash, it was definitely panic. I don't know if it was necessary. I think Ryoma wasn't able oh, to Oh, no, the auto would have killed him. The auto, I think, okay. I didn't, see sure I didn't think him. he was close enough on the auto. I thought he had backed away at that point. But either way, flash out. Boom. I mean, Bradley knew Poop was there. Yeah, that's, uh, it's, it was very... Nice play there from Boom, but disrespect out of Bradley to have to force out a Flash, force out a TP, and now he is so susceptible to any gang from Chad, from Boom, from Damsu, if he even wants to be able to show up into this mid lane, to bully this Azir who needs items to really become a threat. Uh, a jump on this tough grab. The damage down here is that a hit by Daphne? Hey, on to He even gets rooted by the blade caller there. But Poom took a lot of damage there, too. Get damage. Ryoma went back to get the tier. So what? Pop the teleport. Use the engage. Oh my gosh. Nicely done. The flash in from Ryoma. Chad, though, he is cut off by that pillar. He does not have the dash anymore. So he has to give up his own life so his mid laner can have that early kill. Uh, a little bit of a trade. One for one. Nothing too crazy. Let's take another look at that, though. The positioning of Daption and Winston back here. But yeah, Chad gets the first jump in. But that forward positioning a little too confident trying to push this lane out, not expecting a response from Wildcard. You always have to respect. Talk about he needs to be able to get these tactics early on. He get the kill for Ryoma early. And now this play topside. johnson has got a lot of damage on it to Brandini. Flash for flash just to make sure they can get rid of Brandini in this top lane. You know, standing by that push so close, not shooting just a little bit farther back. Okay. I'd rather, I'd rather they know where he Arrow is. Arrow uses cleanse oh with the damage from God. Chad. Second stack of the Dark Harvest. Make it three if they can get Daption. He's still alive. They took up a lot of damage from that turret. They got a plate as well. Daption kiting it back, waiting it out. He wants Chad to be the one to engage, but Poom's gonna be on with the grand entrance. A kill for Luger. A kill onto Luger. You got the kill onto Chad. Ryoma getting away from three members in mid lane, kiting it back for so long. He can't flash. There's the flash finally with the Emperor's Divide, even an ultimatum that's too ult used. He's still alive with the knockup coming in. He finally died. Boom, all the way back to Chad. A lot of damage coming in. Collateral damage not able to take down Winston. The subjugate barely healing him back up. So, so close from Elise taking one member down in response. We're going to take a look at the earlier fight here on the bottom side. So, Boom missed the grand entrance there, but it really didn't matter because Chad was on it. A beautiful blade collar as well. And this is just, this is kind of playing with your food, saying, all right, who wants to go in? Who wants to start the initiation? And it is going to be Poon. He ends up going down here, though. It, I mean, oh, that that was that was the telltale end of that, that circle. For you to do it seems like bottom lane is where their priorities at. I love Luger, Ooh. by the way. Do you see how he positioned? He's the one to go forward. Chad's here as well. Four stacks looking for his fifth Dark Harvest stack Ooh. on his caption. Barely alive, but oh. he burns down to die. Beautifully done by Honor Thieves, and you're absolutely right. Luger on this diet. This is why I love this champion. It's all about positioning. You will not find success with Zaya if you do not recognize where your feathers are and you try to, you can, act, I mean, force positioning on the enemy team. There's Charm. Witness with the Charm with the damage. Winston taking down Arrow, looking to be able to get the Ren, but unfortunately it's too early and oh. it's a double kill for Chad. Beautifully wait, played. Wait, Real what? double kill Bradley no too. No way. Oh my God. We got to get another look at that. It's going to be a shot. Wait, I, 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 I think it was What's the going on? I think the Indite just picked up a kill on to Chad right there. Daption has two kills. Or sorry. Yeah, Daption has two yeah. kills right now. What's going on in this game, Jolly? This game is bananas at the moment. We have eight, no, eight kills for 100 Thieves, four for Wildcard, 12 in total. Let's take a look at this replay because it was a long one. Yeah, this is the, the break off. You have the quickness right there. You can see it was activated so that Poom could get into the fight. 
and so well done here. Also, the recognition from Chad. I've got double buffs, all right? I have a little bit more survivability. There was the oh, split here. off. This is where it happened. It was a hex flash. Q, ignite. There you go. At least get one. And, oh, my and gosh. We, get back, <laughs> we have more fighting. No fight, way. fight, fight, fight. Kill for Gamsu and Chad being at the top side to help out get the kill on to Brandini since we had seen earlier the flash used to get away from everything. We can take a look at that replay. It's well done by Gamsu to dodge away from the initial hook shot. Oh, but the little pinch here. Chad says, yeah, I'll just get a, uh, an assist on that one. Get one shot and walk away. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on bot lane? Jelly. There are. Oh, yeah, there's some pigs coming out. That's a classic, that's a classic wild card play. You know, go around the dragon pit. Uh, try to uh, avoid being seen whatsoever, any possibility. They're going in, though. Yeah, they are. They got a lot of damage on Poom, but Battle Dance back to Zaya. Just a lot of distance away. Winston on the other side will be spotted out by that control ward. So they go to the jungler's bot lane, which is why you look at Chad. The moment they saw Winston, he makes the call to try to pressure that top lane, saying, we dare you to focus everything, all your attention with the TP into the bot lane. We'll pop the eye in the top lane to get a lot of gold for ourselves. Boom, Luger, you're on your own. You've got to hold it. Four versus two, four against the world, except for Brandini, who's all his lonesome by himself in the top lane. Daption not going to be able to get the TP, but they got the root with the blade caller, and it forced and thwarts away wild card. No way, you're going to get a second charge on top of it on They might get the turret itself. They might even get this turret. It looks like they have another wave coming through. They absolutely will get a second turret. That's the first turret of the game, but make two in one lane. Wild card is going to take what they can get. Connecting the dragon for themselves. The pressure is still on the top side. And 100 Thieves are looking so good. Look at Pot Lane. Luger's there the entire time. There's a lot of tension coming in. Oh. Bradley to flash away from Yoma with the Rim Prison on top. Bradley and Chad has so much oh. damage. He flashed away, but the pick just on a two. Members get the charm damage. He's trying to get Boom and Fetch. He can, but Arrow just cannot get in range. They've got the damage on the Ryoma, but he's trying to get oh. back away. And Chad, he is <laughs> going to be the focus of the ultimate. Finally sliced down by the Precision Protocol. The flash in from Raiden. He to take it out. A double kill for himself. Gomsu is able to get a nice story oh. to the wall onto Arrow. But Arrow, this entire time, he is dancing through the battle looking for the Ren on a Boom. But he's still alive! Luger. He's still getting out Luger. there! Luger showed up though for a killing spree of his own! Wild card! You gotta run for the hills! That is the power of the Zyrakon combo! My goodness, everybody popping off! This is currently 3 0 oh, and 4 Luger! And yes, still, plates are up for another 20, 15 seconds! They're going to find the fourth tower! The fourth Ooh. plate! All for 100 feet. The amount of extra gold they have gotten themselves this game is insane. Let's take another look at this fight, though, because it was an initiation for Bradley, an excellent flash to avoid that ultimate. And the char, the quickness does apply. It does mean that Poon's in a dangerous position, but stays alive towards the backside. It was a really good solar flare as well coming from Daption. But when you're Chad on that side, it was Daption and Arrow versus Chad. Chad managed to win that fight. It took a third member in Brandini coming over to actually take down another member there. And right now uh, is, I mean, that ultimate from from Nar. I, I love me those. I love me some good Nar play in general. But that was an excellent play. And this this is why I love Zaya. This is why I love Zaya. Get close enough. And if you can QE fast enough, you get the kill. That's all you need. That was perfect. They get more gold, more of a lead. Ryoma gets jumped on by Brandini, but he's oh. got a level lead. He's got the damage. They've taken down Brandini and Winston, even with the subject gate on to Chad. He's got a lot of distance away. The blast oh. to save the life of Chad, and Gamsu's on a killing spree. Oh my god, look at the gold right now. We are almost at 10k at 15 minutes, oh. Magical. What I have this? never seen, I have never ever seen a gold lead this wide this early in the game. This is, what are we even watching right now? What did 100 Legends. Thieves do? Ha ha ha. What, what did 100 <laughs> Thieves That's do? What, I, uh, I, uh, what did 100 Thieves do during that break? Pretty much it's the reverse of fates from the previous game <laughs> yeah. where it was wild card getting a kill a minute. Now 100 Thieves Academy are nearly at a kill a minute. So good with this blast going to get Winston away. Gamsu being in the bush right there saying, yeah, I can help out. I just got that red buff, so that's nice. Minute. But zero from wild card. And that makes Brown it nearly impossible. Oh Bradley, my god! No escape. That's an effort divide right into the teammates' arms. 
Where are you supposed to go, Bradley? The base is the other way. Poom chasing you down. They got the charm through that damage. The Coming damage. in from the support of all people. Winston Arrow right on the heels of Luger and Chad. But Bradley, you don't have an escape anymore. You might have a flash, but Chad's looking to hunt you down all the while. Winston's getting forced away by the rest of the members of 100 Thieves Academy. Gamsu does not have PP this entire time. Brandini is passing towards the team, while Bradley, if you can get this TP away, oh. the damage though is way oh. too high from Chad. And the rest now, look at the re-engage coming in. Boom, didn't get the knock up though with the grand entrance. It's gonna be a solar flare, the damage in to take down the kill onto Rakan, but an ignite is ticking onto Winston. Faction, he's taking a lot of damage, forced away with the fate call, knock up onto Chad, but they got the damage right back from Ryoma. Oh no, this is looking devastating from 100 Thieves Academy. They went way too far and they don't got Gobs but they got a double kill for Rielmo on the way out. Luger does get out alive. Gobsu still has not gone down yet. So yes, they lost a few members there. We'll take another look. It was a beautiful Emperor's Divide right there, but Bradley on the run, you're not gonna get away from this. Tried so dang hard, but all it takes is for 100 Thieves to say, all right, one person who wants to go chase down this player and it's a very easy choice for chad having a lot of mobility able to get the kill on as this fight is still going through oh man and you can see winston it is a very long one winston tries to come through and that was it was a good attempt by poom but really really good response solid lockdown and luger with a beautiful blade collar on top of that dealing enough damage and then deciding okay i need to get out of this fight this is not one that i'm going to survive it's possible that had, oh no, actually it's not possible. I was gonna say if Luger had been there, maybe they could have gotten a little bit more, but no, not with Brandini moving up. So very, very well played. Good recognition by Luger that I need to get out of here. They still have 10,000 gold points, <laughs> and they're in. doing exactly what Wildcard <laughs> had done to them last time. But Winston is on the other side. There's gonna be a secure of that Baron for 100 Thieves Academy nonetheless. Chad, just in case, actually ending up using the ultimate on top of the Realm Warp again, though. They're going to be going no. on a Bradley. Emperor's Divide, Winston, Rune, Prison, Everfrost, knocked up, killed off by Rioma. Even though Bradley does survive this time, the jungler dying this entire time is going to be devastating for Wildcard if they want to mount a defense. It's going to be hard now. Wait, what? Nine, to nine kills, and out comes the Rip they still have it? How? I, I am not I sure how about that. Baron as uh should i mean is, just, I, I thought i don't i don't understand weird. i thought yeah i thought that uh i thought at that point i thought it should have been expired and must have been the last moment oh my goodness it's going That's to be a lot of one tower down Winston's about to respawn. Fate's call to pull back in. Daption Bradley would take down nearly to half health too, but Daption's gonna be the real target. A nice Nor to drag everyone into the fight. Rioma's got the kill. They've got two for Rioma. Arrow, he's trying to dodge away, get himself back towards the scene, but without the minions there from the side of 100 Thieves Academy, they're gonna back off, take themselves their second inhibitor turn of the game. So and it's really hard for Wildcard to do anything but clear out the rest of their base, think of what they've got. Nice recalls, all members still holding on to that buff aside from Gams who went down at the top there. So now you can literally see Rioma's like, what do we do now, guys? This is like, it's our playground. We can do whatever we want. Is inventory right there? Uh, it, it's a corrupting block attack, I believe. But right now, Winston, what was that damage in from Chad and Rioma as a combination tool? No, they I'm burst down the tank. That was an elixir. He just activated it. Oh, did I mean, he act? Okay, I missed that. He I activated missed that. it. That was an elixir. He activated it right after. Oh, oh go. Nice entrance. Nice damage on to Arrow. He burns down. Dapson flashes away towards the gate. Flashed away from Bradley, too. So many summoners fused. But your base is being taken by Poom. Chad's still in the fight. Double kill. Brandini. He couldn't mount it. He couldn't get the defense. The kills are there. We're at more than a one a minute for 100 Thieves Academy. They have returned to the table on a wild card red and are handing them their first defeat here in the proving ground in full 23 and a half minutes that first